Who will be our NFT art god? Digital artist Beeple or the new challenger, conceptual art megastar, Damien Hurst? As soon as I could afford it, I hired other people to make my paintings. Why? I just don't think it's important. What's important is that the end result is exactly what I want. Even if it's not your hands doing the work? Well, I mean, I feel like it is my hands doing the work. It doesn't matter whether I actually physically do the work or not, as long as I'm making sure that the end result is what I want. I don't really have time to, like, sketch a million things out and revise this idea. It's really got to just be, like, run and gone. Got to get her done. I have a huge library of 3D models that I can bring into the scene very quickly to compose these images. It really feels like a kid who's got a big, big toy collection. Contemporary art megastar Damien Hirst has wrestled his way back into the art world spotlight. He's announced that he is about to change art history with, quote, the most exciting project I've ever worked on by far. It's blowing my mind, he says. It's not exactly clear precisely what the project is, but it has something to do with toppling Beeple's digital collage selling at Christie's for $69 million. Beeple, or originally Beeple Crap, real name Mike Winkleman, is a digital artist working primarily with Cinema 4D to arrange dynamic scenes targeting popular culture. He has an enormous library of downloaded meshes and other assets he uses to assemble his montages. Beeple has been creating an artwork a day for more than a decade and uploading them to social media. He calls this series his everydays. Sometimes digital artists are criticized because it's assumed they don't know how to draw or paint. But we could look at people's drawings from his early days to see how well he could draw. Mm -hmm. yep. The Dalai Lama should give some girl the peace symbol. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's look at this, someone's brain. Why the... oh. Yeah, so clearly he um, had mastered portraiture and he's got the anatomy, the uh, legs. Are... Oh, look at that hand. Uh, well, but uh, uh, here's, here's a... Uh, look at this guy. He's got the uh, douchebag. Uh, well, okay. oh, yeah. I don't really like the term artist because it sounds very pretentious and douchey. Like, I would never be like, I'm an artist. But here's a sampling of the stuff he's super duper famous for, at least for a digital artist. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a lot of, there's Trump. Let me find it a good one. Kim Jong Jackson. Because, see, what he's trying to say here is that Kim Jong-un and Michael Jackson, they, um, hmm. But at least we know that he, he modeled the, he, he modeled Kim Jong, no, he wouldn't have been able. Well, I do like the, the colors, though, and stuff on this one. I mean, he does, uh, oh, here we go. Here's a Joe Biden. Donald Trump is nursing Joe Biden because that's the, it makes sense. It just, I, I need to spend more time with it to figure out. It's Hillary Clinton. So I guess he downloaded a, someone made a model of Hillary Clinton. He downloaded it. And then Donald Trump is in her brain. <clears throat> that makes sense. That makes sense. There are some really good ones. Oh, here we go. I kind of like this one. Yeah, some of its gross monsters. So when I first saw Beeple, I'd see something like this, and I thought it was pretty cool because the way he sculpted it, rendering, getting the lighting right and stuff. And then when I found out he downloaded the models and placed, you know, he arranged them in Cinema 4D, which is its own skill. 
it's, uh, I guess I, I learned to appreciate that it's the idea that you're getting. And the idea here is that, um, um, anyways, I think you, oh, I like this. Oh, it's someone fighting, uh, with Tom Hanks. Is that, that's Tom Hanks beating the shit <clears throat> out of the coronavirus. And he could have downloaded a better Tom Hanks, I think, because I didn't even, I thought that was Elon Musk. So, but, uh, it's, uh, I guess it's an idea. Tom Hanks, for, oh, here we go. Here, that's pretty. See, something like that. It's pretty. I, I actually like this one quite a lot. Beeple is extraordinarily popular on Instagram, where he's still known as Beeple Crap. He's got over 2 million followers, and each post gets tens of thousands of likes. Beeple sold a custom animation which would mutate, depending on who won the election, for $66,666.60. You know, because of Iron Maiden. This is the piece people created for 66,666.60. And it was uh, prior to the presidential election. And first we start off with this view. So we have Joe Biden and Donald Trump naked in amniotic fluid or something, sci-fi environment. They look like they're about to throw punches. And then if Trump would have won, we would have seen this one. So the evil monster Trump is uh, tromping like Godzilla over the Armageddon with a crown. He's crowned himself king. Okay. And if Biden won, which is the end result, this is what we would see. Loser. And what's that? Each? Oh, each. No. Oh. Okay, so something, and these walkers are very, looks like uh, he took the time to animate them, indivi well, not individually, or he downloaded an animation anyways. And uh, if his politics aren't clear, there's a, this one to look at. Holy, oh, I hope this picture stands the test of time. So Joe Biden is peeing on Donald Trump and yeah, this is the best digital art, living digital artist, for, for sure. Bruh. And then, somehow, Christie's got involved, and Beeple compiled a digital collage of his first 5,000 works. He's now on 5,079. It's not a new technique or anything, but it proved to be a very successful gimmick. It was uh, yesterday one of these uh, amazing moments, exciting moments that sometimes we live on the art market. The last one I remember like this was when we sold the uh, Da Vinci's Salvador Mundi four years ago for record price. Yesterday, it was something of the same magnitude. But now, Creeple Bap's grown too big, and there's not enough room in this art town for the likes of both Damien Hirst and Beeple. Someone's got to get out by sundown. People's $69 million sale was the third most expensive artwork sold by a living artist. And that didn't sit right with blockbuster blue chip BMF Damien Hurst. The top spots are held by Jeff ushering in banality Coons, David Hockney, and Gerhard Richter. Hurst doesn't come in until number eight, and that's unacceptable. When People Crap ascended seemingly out of nowhere to number three, the sleeping grizzly that is Hearst came lumbering out of hibernation with a new strategy to loop the championship belt around his midriff. Damien Hearst is one of the richest artists on earth, with a net worth said to be close to a quarter of a billion dollars. Love's as important as money. 
What can I do? Hurst asked himself. Aha! Ten thousand works. I'll make the stakes double or nothing. It might seem a bit desperate, transparent, and obvious. Suddenly, he's been working on this for five years in secret, and his project preempts Beeple's meteoric rise to fame. Reinventing history, Hearst retroactively got there first, and how? But his works aren't even digital. There are ten thousand works on paper, ostensibly created by him, which have been locked in a vault. His revolutionary breakthrough in art has something to do with selling these works as NFTs, and he's calling the body of work the currency. I'm sure it's been called that all along. He says it explores and challenges the concept of value through money and art. Whatever that means, it doesn't mean good art. It means a lot of money for Hearst. His only claim so far to be the god of digital NFT art. Is that he sold prints of formulaic, uninspired treacly wall art worthy of Kmart by the thousands for three thousand a pop? But he also generously accepted cryptocurrency. He made over twenty-two million, and I guess that is how we know how to value the art. This is what he said about his cherry blossom paintings. Cherry blossoms are about beauty and life and death. They're extreme. There's something hopeful yet hopeless about them. They're art, but taken from nature. They're about desire and how we process love and why we need it. But also, these prints are about the momentary, the insane transience of beauty. A tree in full crazy blossom against a clear blue sky. How can you argue with that? Well, I guess my argument would be that they look like also ran getwell cards for grandma. There was a brief window of days when it seemed like digital artists, who had been working for years or decades with little or no hope of making money out of their passion, would now have an opportunity. But right on cue, the bloated giants of blue chip baloney art swooped in to try to snatch up all the opportunity for themselves. Soon, if that's the way things go. Digital artists will be squoze out of the picture, and the oligarch artists of decades past will blot them out of existence. I read an interview in which you described some of your work as shit. Is there any? Shit. Yes, shit. You use the word shit. <laughs> Is there any work here that's shit? Well, it's funny because I've sent a, I've sent、um, a text to Jeff Koons recently, where I said I love your shit. There's a renaissance of digital art going on right now. It's in digital painting and especially 3D art. Hearst is a dinosaur of institutional, gallery and museum, monumental, conceptual art that has absolutely nothing to do with digital art. Making a digital sale of art is not making digital art, and just scheming to sell minted tokens of his assembly line schlock drawings on paper isn't any sort of breakthrough in art. It's just manipulating the art market to make obscene amounts of money. If scammy strategies to make money are art, then Hearst truly is a living master and the reigning champion. So usually,、uh, with the everydays, I'll spend around somewhere around like two hours, two and a half hours. Even without Hearst getting involved, Beeple's astronomical success is a double-edged sword for digital artists. While it implies there's real money to be made, there's a stronger hint that it's going to be a winner-take-all economic model, and the winner the rest of us have to compete against already has thousands of pieces to sell. He cranks out a new one in a couple hours a day, though this is only possible because the models he downloads took unrecognized digital artists dozens to create. People is already somewhat of the Coons or Hearst of the digital art world. Worse, it is probably naive to think this was ever about digital art. It was about digital money, and digital art was just something convenient to buy and flip for a profit. I would love to be mistaken and discover that there is a newfound appreciation of digital art, and people are genuinely enthusiastic about rewarding digital artists for their creations. But I'm afraid that would be a miracle. And the much more plausible and concrete reality is that the art is just a commodity. 
it will soon be replaced by big name blue chip art, celebrity selfies, or the same general fodder that fills Facebook and Instagram feeds. In other words, clickbait may turn out to be the real art of the 21st century. And authentic digital artists will be lucky to survive on table scraps. For many a digital artist, however, comparative table scraps would be a boon. As for who will be our NFT art god, I'd put my cryptocurrency on Beeple. Beeple is the new new, and Hearst is the old new. Both have already won many times over what would be every other artist's wildest dreams. The real fight is for less known digital artists to survive at all or not. I'd have to put my Ethereum on not, but the only thing to do is one's best and hope for a break.